what are the chances of uh, immigration to New Zealand holding MSN business administration. Probably direct immigration to New Zealand under the skilled migrant category is almost ruled out after changes to the policy uh, last year. So now there are, uh, and uh, for the sake of those people who are uh, still considering uh, direct skilled migration to New Zealand, I would like to highlight the key uh, aspects. You need to get uh, 160 points, which will be a combination of your age, your qualification, your work experience, if you're married, your budget qualification, whether you have employment in New Zealand or not, and those kinds of things. So you need to get 160 points. Besides that, there are two other very important criteria to be met. One, you need to either have a job in New Zealand or you need to have uh, a job offer in New Zealand, or you should have studied in New Zealand for at least two years and acquired a master's or a PhD. So this is some of the uh, not this is some of, this is the requirement to be able to get a skilled migrant category uh, visa uh, approved uh, uh, to New Zealand. Uh, if So although you might have an MS in business administration, if it has not been studied in New Zealand, uh, it does not make any uh, difference to your, uh, your uh, application. So obviously you will not uh, get through even the initial process. It's to fulfill those two, one of the two conditions which is either you should have a job or a job offer or studied for two years in New Zealand, you will need to come to New Zealand and be present here. Uh, and as I keep suggesting, one of the best pathways is to come as an international student, uh, even if you're coming for a one year course, come and do that one year course. So you're already a master, so you can come at a good level. After you complete that course, you can get the post study work visa. In that post study work visa period, which is normally for one year, you can go and find yourself a job. And if that job is relevant, then you fulfill that condition where you have employment in New Zealand. And that's how you'll be uh, well placed. And once you find employment, you most, more than likely you would also cross that 160 points. So that is the pathway. Right.